Oh, hi! Welcome to this episode of Drunken Food with Puddin. Alright, folks. Thanks for stopping by. On this episode of Drunken Food with Puddin, we have cream cheese stuffed, bacon wrapped hot dogs on the grill. We're going to top them with mushrooms, peppers, and onions. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Four Roses Bourbon. Damn good stuff. And can't, give, can't forget to get a good shout out to Budweiser. All right, folks, we're going to stop, start by chopping up some vegetables. we got a green bell pepper here. We're going to cut around the middle there and make sure you don't have any seeds. They're going to land in this. And we're going to make sure we leave these in nice big pieces because they're going to cook down some when they saute with all the other stuff. Leave them in about, oh, probably half the length that you cut them. Cut them once more, leave them strips about that length, so about two and a half inch thick, lengthwise, I mean, fuck, you know what I mean. Cut all them up. You know, I'm about to take one quick break, folks, I'm going to get up. Our unpaid corporate sponsors. Alright. I'm going to throw them in this bin right here, just to and I put them off to the side. I think I might be a little too drunk for it, but that's alright. Now we're going to start with our onion. This cocksucker. It's probably going to make me cry, but that's alright. Right. Do a little bit of this. Then have it. Move it off to the side to have you don't need to go and peel off that uh, outer layer. Don't worry, you can slice this moderately thin, probably eighth of an inch thick. Remember, they're going to cook down quite a bit, especially onions. So you want to make sure they have a little substance to them. Then once again, we can cut these in half. done putting all these up. I got, still got to throw the mushrooms in. We're going to toss these in some olive oil. We're going to put some salt, pepper, garlic powder, all the good stuff, you know. Then some spicy stuff, maybe some red pepper flakes. Whatever your heart desires, it doesn't matter. And cut this open real quick. We'll start out just about like that. Let me get out some of the seasonings and stuff. Alright folks, we got our vegetables all cut up and we're going to get them sautéed here just after a while. But now is the good stuff. We're going to prep the hot dogs for the grill. I'm going to slice these perfectly in half. We're about perfect as you can. You know, you're all fucked up. It's not going to work out that great, but you do the best you can. What we're going to do folks is just like I said earlier, we're going to stuff these with a slab of cream cheese, glue them together. Wrap them in bacon, call it good. Put on the grill for probably somewhere around about the 10 minute mark. It's not going to take very long. The grill's going to be pretty hot. So, Okay, we've got a portion of the hot dogs cut up. So what we need to do now is get a butter knife out. And then, paste them in some cream cheese. You can be as liberal with this as you want, or conservative, it doesn't matter, I mean, it's all going to be wrapped up around that bacon, so not much of it should be, should come out or cook out, so to speak. You want to make sure you stay hydrated when you're cooking, so, excuse me, we'll have one more little whiskey here. You know, people give whiskey a bad rap sometimes, but let me tell you something. Keeps your blood thin, makes you happy. What else do you need? Then we take the tops of them, just sit them right back on there. 
what they're meant to be. Now we're going to wrap them in some bacon. And after this, we're just going to wrap a toothpick around them. Just stick a toothpick through them. Toothpick through them. Easy peasy. Wrap and easy. There we go. This is about as simple as meals you can get, but about as perfect as meals you can get, especially when you're drunk. Besides maybe Taco Bell or something. And by the way, those are also not an unpaid corporate sponsor. I wouldn't pay them assholes anyway. You know, if you folks have any hot dog recipes or anything like that, I'd uh, appreciate if you put them in the comments below. If anything you can do to kind of... We're all a family here. We drink together, cook together. That's what it's all about. Getting hammered, having a good meal. Alright folks, now we're going to get some toothpicks to put them in. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the grill here in just a minute. All right, folks, we're going to get the gas grill going here. We're going to get that on high. For right now, we're going to get it pretty hot. And here in just a minute, we're going to add copious amounts of butter, olive oil, veggies, and all kinds of good seasonings. Okay. Now you want to start off kind of hot, get things going. Then you want to slow it down just a little bit because you want them cooked, you want them soft. But I do not want these cooked down to where you can't taste them and you can't kind of pick out the profiles. I want them to kind of still be in chunks and still have a good flavor profile to them. So. Stir the butter around a little bit, get shit going. Oh, and by the way, cast iron is the way to go, folks. I'm sorry if uh, some of you don't have access to them or whatever. That's not my problem. But let me tell you something. Cast iron is the way to cook anything. And gas, gas as well. Gas appliances. Electric sucks. Don't buy a home if you got electric shit. Don't do it. Okay. So we'll put a little olive oil in here. It might look like a lot. I promise you folks, you're going to need all this. Once it gets really hot, that stuff's going to saute and just get all succulent and delicious. And here after a bit, as soon as we get these kind of saute in, because this will probably take somewhere around, uh, I figure probably 10, maybe 15 minutes, depends on depends on how you cook them for how long. We're going to get the hot dogs that I mentioned earlier, we're going to get them on the grill. Those will only take about 10 minutes. So this will all come together here pretty quickly. You see everything's starting to kind of bubble up, kind of kind of pop this, that, and the other. Everything's kind of coming together, and here just directly, we're going to get the mushrooms, peppers, onions, and close to the end, we're going to throw some jalapenos in there as well. That's optional. I love a little spice, so that's always a good touch. All right, folks, here we go. This is going to cook down some no matter what. I know it looks like a crazy amount of vegetables, but... It'll come out. Now, as I mentioned, and by the way, before I mention anything else, you hear that crackle sound? That's exactly what you want. Now we're going to add a decent amount of salt. Crushed red pepper flakes. Just a little spice. It's not going to kill you, but it's good stuff. Of course, good ground black pepper. Never go wrong garlic powder. That is the bee's knees. You want to let this cook for probably four or five minutes before you even touch it, screw with it, but for about a total of 10 to 15. All right, folks, thanks for keeping with us and joining us here. Now we're just going to give these a flip. I'll make sure they don't get too burnt or anything of that nature, so you just want to check them and flip them. That's a couple times total. You don't need to flip them all the time. I 
think they're looking pretty good. We got them mostly flipped right now. That cream cheese did start to poke through, but that's okay. It's going to ooze out some, so don't worry about it. All right, folks, we got the hot dogs on the grill at the moment, and we're probably about five minutes into this, give or take. You can kind of see they have cooked down a little bit, not a ton, but that's what I want. You still hear that sizzle, that good sizzle. Now, we're just going to kind of, there we go. We're going to kind of flip them, fit them around a little bit, get some good color on them. As soon as you kind of mess with them just a little bit, we're going to let them sweat down and cook a little bit more. Like I said, give or take another five, ten minutes total. You want to still leave them in big chunks to where... You're still going to be able to taste everything. Not going to be like a jam or a mush. You're going to be able to taste everything, and it's going to be great. All right. We got these all kind of squared away, sweated down this, that, and the other. Now we just got to wait. All right, folks, we're going to check on these one last time. This should be very close to getting off there. You're going to see some parts of the bacon that's not 100% brown, but that's okay. They've been on there quite a while. Trust me, it's not undercooked, it's not raw. It'll be just fine. We're actually gonna give these another minute or two and then we'll get them off. All right, folks, we're back to sauteing up the vegetables. I'll give you a little backstory. Junkin' Food Pudding all started as a little gag deal on Snapchat. I'd get, I'd get all fucked up and drunked up at, you know, after work and everything. And after a while, a few people started liking it. They started asking about when the next episode was going to be. And I tell you, none of the things I make are hard, folks. I tell you, you get drunk, any recipe you make is going to be great. Anything you throw together is going to be great. I just kind of thought, what's comfort food? What's good food? I tell you, you throw salt, butter, and some meats and stuff, it's going to be good. So, then a little vegetables to be healthy, you know what I mean? So we do that. So there we go. Voila. You got drunken food with pudding, and you can have anything you want. I am gonna eventually start and do. I'm gonna do a big series. We're gonna have all kinds of stuff on here. We're gonna do anything from breakfast burritos to steaks, pork steaks, burgers. It doesn't matter. Things with chicken, squirrel, rabbit, deer. You gotta have some venison in there. But for tonight, we're starting off the simple shit: bacon wrapped dogs and peppers. Can't go wrong. Now, I'd appreciate if you folks would uh, hit that like button. It'll be at the bottom of your screen and the subscribe button. i tell you what, the, the more likes and subs subscriptions we get, the better off we'll be, and the more I can cook for you folks. And I greatly appreciate it, and Budweiser to you. All right, folks, we're going to get them dogs at the grill right now. Follow me. I got the gas turned off about three or four minutes ago, but just to kind of make sure these were cooked pretty much all the way through, I wanted to keep them on there just to kind of retain the heat. Now I get it, some of you haters on there will say, oh, some of them got burnt, which they did, but is it really drunken food if something didn't get burnt a little bit? Mostly turned out, mostly turned out pretty well though, I think. So, we've got these, and then here comes the burnt ones, I get it. Talk your shit online, I get it. But if you're as drunk as I was, you probably wouldn't even be able to move. Okay. I'm going to shut this down. All right, let's go inside and let's plate. All right, folks. Put the stuff off the grill, stuff off the skillet, and we're ready to plate. Start with this one here. Get a mixture of vegetables. I'm going to throw some pepper jack shredded cheese on it. A little horseradish for a little bit more kick. Just a little bit there. Alright, here we go. That's damn good. Now, so good. Remember, hit that like button and that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. 
if you want to see any other items I have to cook for you. And that was the episode of Drunken Food with Pudding.